So you're naming the baby Emily Scout? Yeah, if it's okay with you. Oh, come on. I think it's wonderful. I have to tell you, it was all Sam's idea. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I know what a light Emily was in your life. And yours as well, all the quarter mains. And I know because I, I knew how special my brother Danny was to me as well. And I would love for our daughter to be named for someone who brought so much joy in this world, right? Well, it is very nice to formally make your acquaintance, Miss Emily Scout. Well, I think Emily is smiling down on us tonight. She's very happy that her name has been passed on. Dr. Quartermain, I have an update from Detective Falconeri. All right, excuse me, guys. Uh, something wrong? Uh, actually, I was hoping this would all be resolved before I had to say anything to you. What's going on? Well, the hospital is on lockdown, and, uh, no one is allowed in or out until the police are finished conducting their search. Well, what are they looking for? Who? They're looking for Olivia Jerome. Olivia Jerome is here in this hospital. Wait, do you, do you think she's here because of me or Scout? Don't worry, she's not going to get anywhere near you. No, I, I don't know all the details, but it seems that she is interested in something that is buried underneath this hospital. The police are taking every possible precaution. We have someone stationed on every floor, so no one's gonna be near you. I know you wanna go after him. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, but I think our family has been through enough this week, so I'm gonna let the cops do their job. And I'm not gonna leave you or little Emily Scout here. Dr. Finn, come in. No, you know what? I need to call Sonny. I don't know how much she knows about Olivia Jerome or that she killed Morgan. Well, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that Olivia Jerome doesn't seem to be anywhere near the hospital. Okay, what's the bad news? The police have no idea where she went. What the hell? Hi, sis. It is so nice to finally meet you. You're out of olives. 